Hey everybody, this is Phil here. Uh, I just wanted to take my time out today and do a review for Cellucor C4 Extreme. I've been following Cellucor C4 since before it even came out. I went to GNC, got it the first day it came out. Um, the first flavor I picked up was Fruit Punch. Um, it's a pre-workout supplement. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, this is the first one I actually had. Uh, I just got an empty bottle because I like keeping all my containers for some reason. Um, it does give you a great workout. It says it gives you high explosive energy, which it does. I mean, it's not going to make you bench from like 210 to 300, but it's going to give you the energy that you need to get through your workout, which is the most important thing. Um, it's also going to give you the arginine flush that everybody talks about. You're going to start to feel a tingle maybe in about 15 minutes max. Uh, your hands are going to start to tingle, you're going to start to feel like face tingle, and you're going to just want to get the energy. Um, it definitely is a pre-workout supplement. Like This isn't something that you just wake up and then take because you need some energy. It's definitely not one of those. Uh, you definitely want to take it only before you work out. Um, I've had fruit punch. I've also had orange. And I've also had the new flavor, icy blue rasp. So, I've actually been through four tubs of C4 since I started. And I've been following C4, like I said, since day one. Uh, I've only been off it for maybe a month, maybe. All because I tried the M5, the uh, old formulation of Cellucor, uh, the pre-workout, along with the mass. Um, just a few things about C4 that you might not know. I'm doing this for like, you know, people who are interested uh, in it before and I've still been buying it now. Is um just some little changes that have happened uh, that I've noticed over the time. I'm gonna bring you into the label here. And this is actually gotta get the camera to focus. Now one of the things here that uh, we're gonna take a look at is that this is a uh, full bottle probably maybe three or four months ago here that I haven't even opened yet. Uh, this contains 1,3-dimethylanilin. Um, this is a great, great product to put into. I mean, it's based really upon all the pre-workout supplements lately, and it's even getting close to being banned. So it's, it's getting a lot of trash from the uh, sports performance uh, industry so it might be potentially banned soon so I'm not sure um, and I just picked up the icy blue Raz, which has been recently manufactured maybe in like the last month or two and there is no 1,3 dimethyl aniline uh, there is no like blog or you know announcement or anything on Facebook Twitter on cellucor.com about it uh, there is no 1,3 dimethyl aniline in this so they have removed it um, I did some research and it looks like from the label that instead of adding 1,3-dimethylanilin in there, they actually substituted it for synephrine. Um, you still get that same effect though. The uh, synephrine definitely gives you that extra jump. Uh, I mean like all products, synephrine and 1,3-dimethylanilin are going to have their good sides and they're going to have their bad sides. Um, but, I mean, it's just something that you're going to use, you know, for a couple months or so. It's not nothing that's going to kill you or, you know, give you high blood pressure or anything like that. Uh, this is the uh, current new label. Uh, one scoop size, 5.7 grams, 60 container, all around $30 at GNC. Um, GNC runs some good prices. You can usually find Cellucor stuff, buy one, get one half off. And C4 at this time right now in October is actually uh, buy two, get one free. So you can find some good prices on these. This goes down the list of all the stuff that's in there. I'm sure if you guys take pre-workout supplements, what all these ingredients do and how much matter. Uh, another thing since C4 started is that the actual scoop size has decreased. I see here one scoop is 5.7 grams. Uh, then I'll head over to the next one here. 
which to this is an older one, and the scoop was 6.5 grams here. And you head over to the next one here, and this one's 5.4 grams. So they're messing around with the scoop sizes. Uh, just a little thing to take into consideration. Um, just in case you feel like it's getting smaller or you don't know if it's getting smaller, it is getting smaller. Um, I think it's an overall good pre-workout supplement. I would recommend it to anybody. I mean, it's going to give you the pump, the energy you need to get through the workout, which really matters. Uh, like I said, you start to feel it around 15, 20 minutes. So I would take it 15, 20 minutes before you start the workout. Uh, if, I mean, if you want, you can down the whole thing before you work out. If not, then just, you know, sip on it while you work out. If you work out like I do for around like two hours, you know, I need a little extra energy. Yes, definitely recommend. It's a good product. I say five out of five. No, it's not better than Jack. No, it's not better than... I mean, yes, it is better than Jack. Hold on, sorry. It is better than Jack. Um... It is better than NO Explode. It is better than 1MR, and I haven't tried Hemo Rage, uh, but I've tried USP Jack, and I've tried 1MR by BP. It is better than those. Um, so far, it's the best pre workout I've had to date. Uh, I haven't tried that many because I never used to take one, but uh, I took this and I was hooked on it. So, I'm on my fourth tub. Um, Cellucor does not sponsor me. Um, I've not been told by Cellucor to make this video or anything. I have been a dedicated Cellucor follower, and I'm going to be coming with reviews for you guys, you know, updates. Um, here's a, a shot of all the Cellucor products I've tried uh, throughout the old generation and the new generation. I've tried the P6, the D4, the WS1, the L2. I've tried the old M5 recently. And then I have the new generation, the D4, the R3, the NO3, and the P6. So I have an extensive history with Cellucor. Um, I've also tried the N03, but I've only used the packets. I never actually bought a tub of it. I actually pick up packets at uh, Smoothie King. Uh, they sell them individually. So I've tried NO3 uh, too. But um, I'll definitely recommend this product. To anybody looking for a nice pre-workout supplement to get them, you know, in the zone, focused. And I mean, I always believe good pre-workout product, a good one, a good pre-workout, my Sony Core C4. Two, you need, you need some music. Uh, some music will get you pumped up. I mean, even scientific studies show that you'll do better working out with music. Um, and to keep up with uh, bodybuilding motivation videos on YouTube, I mean, that does play a big part of it. Uh, I get a lot of questions asking me, you know, oh, why do you watch those bodybuilding videos? You know, those guys look nasty, they look freaky. You know, but they're the best at what they do. And that's what matters. I mean, you don't want to ask you know, that normal guy who just, you know, is thin and he just looks in shape how to get big. You don't want to do that. You want to go and you want to find the extreme people who take it to the extreme and you want to follow what they do, how they do. Um, whether you do choose to do it naturally or whether you choose to use steroids, uh, I'm not against either one. Uh, I mean, if that's, your pref if that's your preference, do what you got to do. Uh, follow your dream. Um, so I think that's the best pre-workout. You got C4 music and some bodybuilding videos loaded on your eye touch or, you know, right before you're about to work out or the night before and you'll feel it. I mean, you'll feel a lot more motivated. So thank you guys for watching. Later.